uh, transfers as the president tries to empty the place out. The problem with some of those uh, he was emptying out is they have, well, let's just say some dangerous ties to Catherine Herridge on why these particular detainees are of such interest. Catherine. Well, thank you, Neil. Fox News has told the 17 detainees who will be released from U.S. custody include al-Qaeda followers, and under the Bush administration, the men were assessed to be significant terrorists. Today, the Defense Department said Secretary Carter, who personally signs off on every transfer, is comfortable with his decision. How this Congress reacts to the administration on his executive action on gun control will tell the administration, once again, how they are likely to react uh, if he just closes Gitmo by fiat. Because if they do nothing, if they just make a bunch of speeches and, and beat their chests, uh, then they know that that's, there's no there there. Source who has seen the list of 17 detainees told Fox the administration will not identify the men before they are transferred out of the Guantanamo camps and in their new home countries because knowing who they are in advance could delay or even derail the transfer process. The Obama White House prides itself on having a better track record than the Bush administration when it comes to vetting detainees. But this 2012 transfer of Ibrahim Alkozi is said to be a source of considerable heartburn for the Obama White House. The former detainee is now a senior deputy within al-Qaeda and according to a recent propaganda Propaganda video. He's a leader of its most dangerous affiliate in Yemen that was behind the Charlie Hebdo massacre in Paris last year. A leading analyst has told Fox News that he thinks how Congress responds to today's executive action on guns will actually impact the future of the detention camps and whether the president also chooses to take executive action in this case to close them, Neil. Do we know, Catherine, whether he can do that? He's done this a lot of times by executive action mm -hmm. that he That's could just empty question. the place out. Mm -hmm. Well, um, there's certainly real concern on Capitol Hill that the president will choose to do so and that they have uh, directly warned members of the military that if they take these uh, if they take any movement to t get the detainees out of Guantanamo, there could be uh, legal consequences for them. So Congress clearly believes that uh, it is illegal to move them. The question is whether the president will see what happens with uh, the gun actions today and assess that there's really not a lot of uh, negative fallout for him to take executive action and that he may as well close Gitmo uh, because that's the case. Yeah, bit by bit, he would succeed in doing that anyway at the rate he's going. Um, thank you, yeah. uh, Captain, very, welcome. very much. Ben Collins is a former U.S. Army Green Beret.